This is one of those videos where I have at least some level of familiarity with the thing I'm listening to. I know the plot, more or less, of Dear Evan Hansen. I mean, well, I guess I kind of know the, the, the premise, like the whole him pretending to be the kid who, you know, his friend. Despite knowing that, I only know one song, Waving Through a Window. And I'm not really sure how that came to be a thing that was in my brain, but for quite a while, and honestly, still now, it's been a shower song of mine, okay? I bust it out, I belt it as loud as I can when I shower, and for the most part, I nail it, okay? Don't even, don't even try to come at me. But I will say the, 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 the high note on, on the waving is like, it's hit or miss for me, all right? I'm not a Broadway singer, sue me. Anyway, I, I love that song. And for a while now, I've been thinking, oh yeah, I should listen to other songs from that. You know, not just the literal one song. So when y'all started requesting Dear Evan Hansen, I was so happy to oblige. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing there's a link in the description below and there's also a link to my discord server which you should join things can get weird over there but but fun weird okay now the first one i, I hope y'all don't like give me sh for this but i'm doing it from the movie okay the rest are gonna be the broadway songs don't worry but i just kind of i was curious you know i know that the movie got clowned on a fair bit but i have heard positive things about this one song in particular and i thought we're doing a dear evan hansen video let's at least put in one thing from the movie so this is sincerely me dear evan hansen we've been waiting oh Wait, hold on. It literally just occurred to me. Oh, this is this might be a minor problem. Although I guess it shouldn't matter that much, but like obviously I know what Evan Hansen looks like because I've seen Ben Platt, but I don't know who any of the other characters are meant to be. Is this is this Connor? Like, but he's you know dead, so I don't know. Dear Evan Hansen, also, that's the name of the the, 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 the musical. Things have been crazy and it sucks that we don't talk that oh, it's gotta be Connor, right? tell you that I think of you each night. Why is it kind I of romantic? And start with delight. Why would you Hello? Like what the? Oh. Make it hey, that's the, that's the, that's the guy from, uh, a, a typical? He's in that, right? Is it him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that took a turn. Um, aren't they faking letters from a dude who like, you know, committed? So, uh, making it sexual is pretty fucking weird, guys. <laughs> Not that anything else in this isn't weird. Like the whole thing that Evan Hansen does is 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 uh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to make it erotic. But why? Seriously. Oh, calm yourself, honey. I just want to get this over with. What, what do you what do you what do you mean calm yourself? You're being wild. It has been rough. Kinky. Please stop. And I, miss I hate it. About life and other stuff. Very specific. Shut up. <laughs> but that is what people would say though. Like my parents. Who says that? I love my the, parents. The twirl. <laughs> I like. You know, like, oh, it's really clicking what this song is, is about. So he's like writing more letters from Connor to him, putting words in his mouth. So essentially what we're watching is someone in real time fabricating a whole story about a dead person from their school to make, I don't know, I, He's trying to appease the parents, make himself more popular. I don't, it's, mm, that's icky. But again, that's, I think that's the point. If I stop smoking drugs, then everything might be all right. Wait, he's... Smoking drugs. Yeah. Fix it. What? If I stop smoking crack. Crack? Oh my God. Smoking pot. <laughs> God, this is so weird. I'll take your advice. I'll try to be more. Nice. Yo, that is so messed up. He's painting himself as like this bastion of help for this kid that was like incredibly depressed, right? <laughs> Yo, whoever this guy is, absolutely slaying. Love him. Your, uh, Hell yeah. All you gotta do is just believe you can be who you wanna be. Is, uh, no. I really- did he just- oh my god, he did. Um, just checking. I- I hope that it isn't. But is this the, the suicide note? Is that- is that what this is? I mean, no, surely, surely not. 
I know that, doesn't he craft one? I'm not sure. I just really didn't expect to see this played out from this perspective. Like I, I know that he fabricated that. That was something I was very aware of, but seeing it happen and seeing how he's painting this picture. And this dude's just going along with it. Y'all need help. I mean, I can't just show them one email. I want to show them. Oh, it's an email. Okay, so it's not the note. It's. But I was trying to help him, you know? Oh Did you try that? No, God. So miss our talks. Stop He's drugs. <laughs> no, stop. Why are you making yourself seem like a saint? I'm sending pictures of the most amazing tree. No, God, this is obsessed with all my forest expertise. Why? This is this is this is like fucked. Wow. I don't know what I expected, but oh, my god. Dude, I'm proud. Stop, it's making me cringe so much. Kind of a groove though, like. <laughs> if, it's, if that is Connor, like damn, I love his performance. What? Oh God, this, why is everyone so creepy? Putting words in this kid's mouth. Oh no, Evan! This is so creepy. <laughs> oh my god, the harmonies. He's literally making himself seem like his savior. Yo, that melody slaps. Yeah. Oh my lord, it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Get it. I don't know why the friend joined in here. Oh, I guess because he's writing the letters too. Okay. Oh. Wow. So all of them sounded fantastic together. Uh, and I, I, I think I'm just going to choose to focus on that and not the underlying intense creepiness that seems like, you know, unhinged stalker behavior. I mean, that's what it is, right? I mean, I guess he wasn't a stalker when he, when he was live. He just became like a weird, creepy, obsessed stalker after death, which is its own brand of weird. <laughs> uh, so uh, that was a lot. Great song though. Fun, actually. I really liked the way that they edited the letter and had him like re-perform everything they said, but it really like helped to give it that vibe that they were just putting words into this guy's mouth. Like it wasn't anything that he was actually saying. It wasn't any of his real thoughts or maybe even anything he would have thought. It's just like them making this dead guy their puppet, which even saying that sentence is, is, is a lot. <laughs> the next song is quite a long one. It's like six minutes. So I thought, you know what? An animatic for this sounds amazing because I have an awful attention span and seeing pretty things flashing on a screen will help keep my attention. So this is You Will Be Found and it's an animatic by Cajun Ginger. I wonder if I can work out what this one's about and if it's, is it gonna be Evan? Well this already sounds depressing. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? I mean that kind of sounds like Ben Platt but I don't see the cast. Forgotten. In the middle of nowhere. Wow, that is already, oh my god. Well, just based off the lyrics, I think we're in for a nice depressing ride. I know that Evan also has his own, like, mental issues. I'm pretty sure his cast was caused by him, like, jumping in front of a car or something like that. So if this is, like, an internal monologue, which is similar to Waving Through a Window, then maybe we're gonna get a bit more insight into that. Have you ever felt like you could disappear? I love this tone to his voice. It's so warm and it's, it's especially with this kind of sadness. It's, it's really, it really hits. Is he performing to it like the student body or something? Wash away. Maybe there oh my God, the cello. You'll be okay. Don't tell me that those are Connor's parents. Reach out your head. Oh, are we going to go big in a sec? Oh, okay. I feel like we're gonna get a belt soon. Even when the dark comes crashing through. That's a really sweet melody. And when you're broken on the ground. Oh, that gave me shivers. Why? Oh my god, the way that that like all landed together was really nice. You will be found. 
I wonder if it's like you'll be found as in like by the things you need or the support that you need, you'll they will find you, you know. Man, his like the way he does those trills, I don't know how he does it so well and effortlessly. People started sharing it, I guess, and now I mean Connor is your speech is every Oh god, this is how the story spread about him. Hello? Oh my god, that is a gorgeous voice. Uh, I'm not sure if either of them know that he's lying about knowing Connor. Maybe he does, but not her? God, you would feel so weird about people connecting like this if you were lying, right? Oh my god, dude. Didn't Connor like not really like him too, so like this would be doubly weird? Thank you. Oh, that, that build is wonderful. Come back in, come back in. Okay, I'm cool with the group. Oh my god, are we gonna get someone doing like a solo layer through this, please? And the melodic changes, Mwah, beautiful. Back down. Or oh, complete change and key change? No, I don't know. Really not the sound I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> It's really, it's really strange because I keep feeling a bit like inspired and positive and then I remember that like he's lying and about all this. Maybe he's not at, at this point? I'm not, I'm not sure. I still, I don't know. I'm still, I'm just sus on Evan, okay? Who's holding the candle? Oh god, Connor's parents? Dude, those are like gorgeous layers. Oh, the candle's so small now. Sister or something? Is this a song that I shouldn't be bouncing to? I feel bad about it, but it's okay, right? Man, the drawing style here is so well done. I hadn't really thought about it. I was just engrossed in it. Is he gonna solo it at the end? Oh. Oh, just for a little bit? Is that, the, is, that the, is that the end? The ce cello again. <laughs> what a strange sound at the end. Don't know what was up with the tension at the end. A part of this musical that I don't know is like, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's a romance angle, but I don't know between who, I mean, between Evan and someone, right? But is, oh God, it's not like Connor's sister or something, right? Is, oh no, please. Like, d does, does he have a crush on, on Connor's sister or something? And I really, oh. Maybe, maybe it's not as bad as I'm just assuming, all right? Although this song is called If I Could Tell Her, so I feel like maybe I'm about to get some answers because he's lamenting having to keep the secret, I guess, that he didn't really know Connor. I'm not entirely sure uh, if I'm ready for this, but pff, I guess we'll find out. He thought you were awesome. Oh. I really thought this was gonna be like slow. He said, there's nothing like your smile. No, 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 no. You never knew how wonderful that smile. Um, no, please don't. I sincerely hope um, this isn't Evan singing to Connor's sister about the things that Connor said to him about how great she was that are all lies because he never really talked to him. Uh, yeah, so uh, I was just looking in the comments and it was like, I realized it was about her dead brother. Ugh. Wow, we <laughs> Whenever you get bored, you scribble stars on the cuff. Is this like stuff that he knows about her too that he's trying to I mean, this is a lot of like uh, very specific things for a brother to tell a friend about his own sister. I feel like I've been making it sound like all of this was incredibly calculated and done like meticulously, but I do realize I think that like the letter that Connor had or whatever, Evan didn't mean for him to have it, so like the parents just assumed he was a good friend of Connor's or something and he panicked and didn't tell the truth and now he's in so deep that like when Connor's sister comes to Evan and is like hey tell me some things about my brother what's he meant to do just be like nah 
<laughs> I want to clarify that I, I definitely am firmly in the position that he should have been honest about all this at the start, but like maybe I need to not think about this as like like cold and calculated. He couldn't talk to you. Ah. This is also like him channeling because he's saying like that he himself couldn't say all this stuff to her. He would always say, if I could tell her. I love that shift in the way he's singing. She's everything to me, but we I mean, oh my lord, son, that, those high notes, Jesus. I don't know how I would even start. That's so depressing, like, I mean, I, I hope it would make her feel a little bit better, right? Did he just run that up so breathily? It looked pretty cool when you put indigo streaks in your <laughs> He's like slipping the way that he feels about her. How you learn to dance like all the rest of the world is in there. Man, how would this not like break you down into tears if it was about your dead sibling? If I could tell I mean, at least there's a message here about like, hey, tell people how you feel about them and how much you care about them while well, you can, right? God, her joining in too. Okay, that was, they just chucked in a casually like beautiful line there. Again, is that a key change? Oh, oh my God. He can have the, the deep tones too. Oh my God. I have such conflicted feelings about this. Oh God, that's like him confessing that as well to her. Oh my god, his... God, if nothing else, Ben Platt has a beautiful voice. Apart. Uh, and the cello again, that's such a nice sound. If I could tell her. It's so, like, the, just such throwaway notes that he... I thought he was gonna go higher for a sec. Okay, that's the, oh my lord, okay. I don't know, with everything I've heard from this man's voice, I wouldn't have been surprised if he just kept climbing and climbing forever and up until it's, 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 it's inaudible because the frequency's too high. Man just has a bonkers voice that I want and I, you know, you better watch out Ben Platt because I might be coming to steal your voice, okay? We're gonna do, we're gonna do a, a voice to transfer, transplant. I guess I didn't expect to feel so conflicted because I just kind of thought like, oh yeah, Evan Hansen's gonna be like a creep or whatever, but there's still some nice sentiments in there and like he's helping her to feel better, I guess, but that the, the, the helping is lies and it's also kind of about the things that he's saying. So is it, is it, is it better to help someone with that or just, just let them feel better? bad without lying. I mean, I guess that's kind of what this whole thing is an exploration of, right? That like, where's the line? But also maybe I'm digging a little bit too deep. I'm not sure if that's what, the, what I'm meant to be taken out of it. But for now, I'm gonna stick with it. The last song we're gonna be listening to today is called For Forever. And I might know the context for this. I, I think it's like he's singing it to Connor's Parents, uh, I'm not really sure why, but for, for, for a reason. And I would guess it's about him and Connor's friendship. So I'm also expecting him to just like keep adding in layers of truths that are like his truths into this. Or maybe even to an extent like friendship fantasies. Regardless, I think I need to just keep in mind that he's singing this to the parents, which, which does put an interesting spin on everything. Well. This is already setting the tone, isn't it? End of May or early June, this picture perfect afternoon. <sighs> okay, so yeah, this is clearly fabricated, but like, how much has he thought about all of this? Shoot the breeze like <laughs> buddies do. The way that he speaks, like, there's this underlying sadness that obviously there's even an overlying sadness to this, but the more subtle thing about this to me is that it almost sounds like he, he doesn't know how friends like this would interact. Like, is, is that how lonely he is? It just feels like this really strange, idyllic, like dreamy version of a friendship. All we see is sky Stop. Forever. How do you just hit those so easily? We could go on for oh, okay. I was wondering if the for forever was gonna be referencing other things, but it is about themselves too. Two friends on a perfect day. So he's just trying to paint this lovely picture for the parents. Is this for his sake or, her, or their sake? Talk about the, things we'll do when we get out of. the way that kick drum is coming through is so good. Like 
the potentials of life, right? Girls we wish would notice us, but never do. I feel so weird because I feel like I might cry during this song, but like, damn, it's, I keep thinking it's about how it's fabricated and I feel weird. I love the way they keep coming out and back in with this build. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this, this might end up being a shower song again for me. Feels like we could go on. Getting that grit back in and not the high is, oh my gosh. I love the way they make all the instruments work together so well. This is like an overwhelmingly positive song for someone that struggles with their own mental issues. Well, well there you go, he just says, wow, okay. Like we'll be all right for forever. Yeah, he's saying like we'll be all right for forever. If I'm like taking stuff out of this and my own interpretation, it almost sounds like in this fantasy that he's concocted, there'd be enough support for him that maybe his issues wouldn't be as hard to deal with. And so while this is like about Connor, it's kind of more about how he would feel in this situation. For this I when am I gonna get used to those notes? There he goes, the they do these wonderful changes so often and so well. Calling, follow, follow, what, up the tree? One branch, then do another. Yeah, they're talking about climbing a tree. Oh my god, dude, how do you go, that, that, so belty. Where, where is that going? Where, oh, suddenly he's falling? I'm on the ground. He's talking about how, my arm goes numb. yeah, I was gonna say about how he broke his arm. And I see him come to get me. I see him come to get me. I'm just trying to connect the dots here because like I said, I thought that he broke his arm after like literally throwing himself in front of a car or something. But is this part true? And he's incorporating this into the story or maybe it's like, yeah, maybe he's like lying about that being the way he broke his arm. But I don't know, it's kind of like symbolically about how he felt when he attempted that or what he felt he was missing in life before doing that. I I'm not sure. He's come to get me. God, he sounds so sad saying he's come to get me. And everything's okay. I feel like there are like so many different meanings buried in this. Let the world pass by for Those lyrics are so sweet though. Buddy, you and I for <laughs> You take the context out of this and it just sounds like the sweetest friendship song ever. Oh god, the runs, man. Me, how? Too good, too good on those, oh my god. See, he just keeps going higher and doing... Literally, as I'm saying it. Oh, stop, as I say it, he just keeps go... Okay. Oh, I really thought that was gonna be a high at the end. But I like it bringing it down a notch for the end. Man. You know what's weird, right? Is I'm kind of walking away from that song, not knowing how I'm supposed to feel. I don't really know how I feel, but also I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. Cause like I said, there were parts of that that were really sweet. And if I didn't know any better, I didn't know the context, I would be thinking, oh my Lord, that's so gorgeous. And what a wonderful friend today. They sound like the best of friends. But also as I'm saying that, I realize that's the point cause he's, he's, he's trying to make it seem like he's the best of friends with him. But then it also feels like his own mental health issues were wrapped up in that somehow and, I, and I, I can't quite work out how and at the same time I feel like there's like all these double meanings and things going on there but I'm just only connecting some of them <laughs> regardless though I love how like complex that felt I don't know across this whole video I've pretty much constantly been unsure how to feel <laughs> and I feel like every time I talk about the subject matter or the context I end up like analyzing it from all these different sides and trying to understand perspectives which again you know Feels like the point. <laughs> but it just made all of this so interesting. Even if there were times I felt uncomfortable, like that felt like it was the musical that was like directly challenging me and being like, hey, think about this, even if it's uncomfortable. So I guess all I can say at the end is that was just damn fascinating. And I'm, I'm intrigued. I feel like I gotta listen to the whole musical now. I'll probably do that. And also I will definitely be singing for forever in the shower. And I will like a hundred percent be revisiting, waving through a window because I don't, I don't feel like I've, I've listened and that in a while. Anyway, I'm gonna just take my energy down, 
you know, it's all good. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.